what is up what is good all of my wonderful all of my wonderful amazing kings out there brother and sisters and everybody in the middle how y'all doing this sunday comment down below and let your girl know but tell me what we're here to do we are here to book talk about book one of the dark facade series let the party begin let's get on into it Okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all a quick synopsis of what I read. I'm gonna tell y'all what I thought, what I read in the first book, and then I'm gonna tell y'all my predictions and all of that for book two and three, which I will be reading in a reading vlog next week. Stay tuned. Subscribe if you ain't. Okay, right, so our story is about a graphic designer named Maxine. Maxine has this one coworker. I'm guessing it's her only friend. Her name is Lisa. Lisa is a little thought pocket, right? Right. And for her very first chapter, she's online, kicking it up with some man she don't know, and she lets Max know that she went on a date with her boy tonight. That she just met tonight. And I would sis, when when Lisa does not come back home from work, I would sis is worried. And so her journey begins. We start out trying to find Lisa, our good sense. But then we find something even better, some good dick. Child, her trying to find Lisa ends her up into some underground, um, a BDSM, owner master kind of situation, you know? And that's where we at. So. Now, I gave this book three and a half, four stars. I'm about to tell y'all why. Not that it's not good or nothing because y'all know Sylvia Hubbard can do no wrong when it comes to me, but she can't, you know, she happens. But the writing in this was bomb. The sex in this was bomb. Even when it was no sex, she was sexy. That tells you what you need to know. Now, I know I told y'all this was like a mystery thriller type of thing, right? Well, not really. Because the mystery, the thrill, is to me all up in shorty head. And this is why I began to get spoilery. So, if you don't like spoilers, if you don't do those things, click the link in my description box, get your read on, and join me whenever you're done for this conversation. But I shall continue. So, the thrill, the suspense, the suspense is real, okay? The tension is real, okay? But the mystery and the thrill, I think, I would say the max is a making up and making it bigger than what it really is. <clears throat> now, the real reason I'm only giving this three and a half, four stars, it's going to be four stars on, on Goodreads because it's still a good book. It is still three and a half, but... There's no half stars around here, so four stars it is. But my main thing with the first book is that I'm not really believing her motivation for what she's doing. To me, our good sis is extremely bored. She makes this whole thing about Lisa, right? But Arthur Sylvia Hubbard makes very good sure to, to show us that nobody around really cares about Lisa but Maxine. Um, and that includes the authorities, okay? But we, after reading Put Our Life in Danger and been here and been that, got snatched up by some, some rednecks and um, all that shit. She goes back to Lisa's house and Lisa is there. There. At Lisa's house, right? So when Lisa comes out, she burping, she, 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 you know, little, little, little um, droopy and shoulders and shit like that. Maxine says she ain't gonna worry about that bitch no more because Lisa said, girl, I'm good, go about your business, I'll see you later. Please just go. And Max is like, well, I don't worry about that bitch no more, but you did all of this. 
And you didn't think that something's going on in that house? You didn't think that she might be being held hostage? I mean, if you're going to do all this, you went to police, you went to the club, you got snatched up, you got kidnapped, motherfuckers could have killed your mother, you raped you. And you finna let it go after you see Lisa. After you can tell she's not in her right state. I mean, I don't know. If you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys know that I have a lot of questions about our... Y'all would know that I have a lot of questions about our good sis, Lisa. But, she goes on about her day, basically writes off Lisa, but then continues to dig into this crazy other shit, right? She's bored. She gets the invitation. She goes there. Still saying she's going for Lisa. Bitch, no you're not. Um, so she gets there. They go through the whole thing and all that. And mama was very ready to not wear no drawers under that black dress. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Baby went free wheelie out this bitch. Into some unknown, undisclosed place with some unknown, undisclosed folks. Okay? So, we get that. And now, we are now on. We are not the slave of a master. Y'all know how to be her like to do. She likes to put interracial relationships in convoluted situations so that we can see different sides of things. You know what I'm saying? So, her master ends up being a white man named Felipe. And I'm thinking they have some past history going on. Because it tells us her history and how her people, you know, were... Unalived, and it tells us a little bit about him. He got kids and all this other stuff, right? But there was also this man that saved her. I'm not real sure about the age gap thing going on with this, but I'm thinking that they are more intertwined in the past than we know because Felipe let us know a little bit something, something, but he did not let us know enough. I don't think. I think it's still more to come. Um, like I said in my Instagram post. A first, a good first book always leaves you with more questions than answers, and this did it because Felipe, how do we know you? Like, what's up? Like, are we gonna stay here? Are we gonna be master slave at your crib? Are we gonna stay at this, you know, big corporation? Corporation. And back to my questions about Lisa. Okay, now this is my my theories. These are my questions. All of it. How long, how deep is Lisa in this underground club thing? Because <clears throat> in the beginning, when Max first found her, she was like, just please go. She thought she was screwed or whatever. I thought this might be in danger. Let me know. Read the book and let me know. And if y'all read it, let me know. Do y'all think that Lisa is in danger? Because she's kind of acting a little finicky in the beginning. But then... Uh, Maxine lies and said something to Felipe and was like, oh, Lisa didn't explain to me and tell me everything that's going to go down here because this is where I just tried to Lisa led Maxine. And Felipe says, well, that's not true because Lisa always explains what it is or something like that. So how long has she been there? Is she a recruiter? Like, tell me what's going on. Is she in danger? Is she being held hostage against her will? How much do we really know Felipe? Is this going to be like a, a dark romance type of thing? Because I'm not really into the other bitches. I really want to know what's going on with Felipe and Maxine. And again, if Luke's ass just pop out and say, hey, I'm here, I'll be cool with that. Because Maxine is busy getting her coochie ate. Getting smacked from the back, looking at that clap, clap. And she's not even worried about Lisa. This whole motivation that got blown out the water. As soon as that white man put his little pink tongue to your little pink box, bitch, you wouldn't think about Lisa. Um, <clears throat> what I want to see in the next book, I want to see Lisa. Lisa, I want to see Lisa. I want to see her man. I want to see what's really going on with Felipe and Maxine. Um... 
I want to see them together. I understand that they are together and Felipe must just must have Maxine. But I want to know why. I mean, he told us a little bit of why, but I want to know why. You know what I'm saying? Who is this Missy chick? Is she like our, our um, I want to say quiet. What the fuck the bitch name is? Black something. Is she like our young uh, fixer upper bitch? And most of all, Lisa, are you recruiting hoes to bring to the club? Like, what is really going on? Somebody tell me the real tea. Comment down below. If y'all know what's going on, no spoilers in the comment section. Um, if you do, please say spoiler alert and let folks know. Um, <clears throat> but anywho, start the comment section down below. Let's talk about, let's get this party started. By the other city, you have book one of the Dark Facade series. I gave it three and a half, four stars. That motivation had me a little like at, but I loved it. The writing, the sex, the tension, the suspense did everything and more for me. I couldn't have asked for more um but i will be reading books two and three for next week's reading vlog stay tuned for that and be sure to get your copy down below in the description in the bio oh in the description box plus we have a sylvia a sylvia hubbard giveaway coming soon we got books we got money we got treats stay tuned comment subscribe and hang around for that. With that being said, y'all, peace, love, positive vibes. Have you run up today? That's your girl now. Mwah. This is.